Hi everybody, it's Dan with Fun Ukulele Projects. I'm sitting in my front yard. I just got back from NAM 2022 and I did interviews with a whole bunch of ukulele manufacturers. Three question interviews. Basically I asked what is your most popular seller or most iconic instrument in your line. I asked what new products they have they're excited about and then I asked them what they bring to the table uh, that's unique about their company that uh, is different than other you know competitors in their price point and I got a lot of really neat answers I'm not I, I didn't even keep track as so many people I'll put it in the description how many different you know companies uh, I have videos for but this video today is that I'm putting up with my fun nuclear project was going to NAM and interviewing all these different companies. Uh, you're gonna hear a lot of noise. I use a super cardioid mic so you could hear the people talking, but I also wanted to sort of catch the, just the chaotic nature of the NAM show. And so I'm just quickly doing this video as an intro. I hope you enjoy. Thank you very much. Hi everybody, it's Daniel with Fun Ukulele Projects and I'm at NAM 2022 with Lewis Wu. And I'm gonna do a three question interview with him uh, question number one, Lewis, if you can think of one model of Ohana or that is either your best selling or the one model that when people think Ohana, that's what they think of, which one would it be? I would say is the uh, 35 G series. Okay. And in early days, uh, I when I first started Ohana, my focus was more on the solid top and all solid uh, uh, versions. So the 30 series is the all solid mahogany. Yeah. And I love mahogany because it's so consistent, such a consistent wood for ukulele. So the 35, uh, either the satin finish or the 35G for gloss finish is the model from day one. So I think that would be the model I would say somewhat represent uh, Ohana. Great, great. Make yeah, actually I love mahogany myself. Yes, yes, yes. And my second question is, do you have any any special new products that have come out recently or that you're going to be coming out that you can mention ah, in the next year okay. or so? Okay, uh, the a new product that came out recently in the last six, eight months is the Berry Tenor. Uh -huh. And it's a baritone body with a tenor scale with regular tenor strings that is tuned to, of course, GCEA. Oh, that's great. Yes. Uh, a few years back, I heard uh, a lot of players who, uh, ukulele players, accustomed to GCEA, yeah. uh, didn't want to switch to DGBE, but loved the baritone body, the deeper sound. And uh, they tried to change the strings for GCEA tuning on a longer scale. Uh, baritone, but yeah. it's hard to do. It's just not yeah. there isn't really the right strings to do so yeah. So it gave us that idea to make a baritone body but uh, Tenor scale that I think that's tenor great. scale and uh, uh, regular strings that's So that's one of the new products that we came out uh, another one would be uh, oh Cynthia Lin the Cynthia Lin model. Cynthia Lin uh, uh, Cynthia and Ohana have had the laminate version uh -huh. that's more affordable. Right. And then the other one was the, like the mahogany that I mentioned right. earlier, uh, with cutaway and so forth, it's all solid. Uh -huh. But some of her fans ask if there is a tenor version. Right. Or maybe something in between that is a, say, top, solid top. Right. So we just came out, at least at the show, yeah. Production would be following a solid top Cynthia Lin signature model in mahogany oh, wow, with that's cutaway great. At, in concert and tenor size, acoustic as well as acoustic electric. That's so fantastic. that's another one. Uh, maybe a third one could be one of these uh, very unique, hard to find uh, redwood. Uh, 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 tops. The sinker redwood. Sinker redwood. I love or regular those. redwood. Those are yeah. easier to find. We yeah. source them. Uh, but figures, sinkers are harder to find. Right. And then uh, uh, redwood burl. Uh, very pretty. 
Yeah, they yeah. are also a bit rare. Yeah, uh, we we've just introduced those. That's in great. Very limited quantities. That's really neat. So, and the third question is, what unique qualities does your Ohana bring to the ukulele community with their, its instruments in your price range that is, makes you different than other competitors in your price range? I think uh, I think a lot of companies do the same. Uh, so it may not be anything specific to Ohana, but from the early days that, that we focused, because it was just myself, so I had to focus on just uh, solid top or all solid, but of course these days I have a full range uh, that, 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 that's available to uh, you know, different players uh, and price points and so forth. But business aside, uh, early days when I first started the business, I said I need a name for the company, and I knew it's a bus uh, it's a family business, and I thought Ohana, Ohana is family. Yeah. So I hopefully that carries through all these years. That besides business itself, that. I hope that Ohana can continue to contribute to the community, yeah. whether it's locally or outside of our local communities, uh, through music, supporting our uh, artists, uh, and uh, making instruments affordable to uh, people of all ages. That's great. Especially children. That's and great. That's a big part of what we, our passion is. That's really great. Thank you so much. Hi, I'm here with Eric Sun with Enya, and I'm going to ask him the same three questions. Hi, Eric. What is the one uh, inst ukulele instrument that is probably most iconic or best-selling for Enya these days? That'll be the Enya Nova series, Nova Carbon Fiber Ukulele. The model was originally released in 2019, and uh, we have now the concert and concert and tenor. And uh, I would say that's the most popular Enya brand ukulele. Oh, that's great. Yep. And and what are some new products that you have coming out? Oh, that's exciting. This is the new Aya Dexi Spiral New Guitar that we have just released this year in uh, April. This uh, guitar comes with a 50 plus Bluetooth building speaker. That can simplify a lot of people's life if you're, if you're really a music fan. Yeah, we really like about this. That's really neat. Yep. And, and what are the unique character characteristics that Enya puts within its instruments that makes it different than other instruments in the same price ranges. I know that you actually have instruments from from budget to very, very nice custom instruments. So what is the unique Enya you know, quality? I would say it will be the affordability. We aim to make really high quality musical instruments that can fulfill many people's need, but at a very affordable price point. We feel like that's very important. So that will bring encouragement to everyone to buy their first instruments and start to learn, start to play. That's very important to us. That's great. Thank you so much, Eric. No problem. No problem. I'm at the Hug Ukulele, Hug Ukulele booth, Hug right? Ukulele. Uh, with, with Robert, and I'm going to ask the three questions I've been asking people. Uh, Rob, your first, the first question is, what particular model do you have that is, is your best-selling or possibly is becoming known as your signature model? Real easy to answer. Mango. Actually, spalted maple. That's spalted maple? Wow. Spalted this, maple. I have both, and that really looked like yeah, mango. No two instruments look alike at all. Yeah. And uh, we, it's been so popular, we have not been able to keep it in. It's That's been absolutely, great. We, we do this in concert tenors models, and it's been, it shot straight to the top of our sales the moment we introduced it. Is it all solid? Uh, no, this one is not an all solid. It's laminate? That's but, fine. Uh, it's been, the, it's stunning sound, Yeah. because we use a much thicker veneer than most yeah. people do, so we get a better sound. And the looks are just has just blown people that's away. That's beautiful. Uh, by and far, that's probably and, our best-selling model. What does that cost? Um, excuse me while I trip. Okay. Uh, it uh, MSRP's at three twenty. Okay. It maps at two sixty. Okay. Okay. So that answers your first question. Okay. And my my second question is. Uh, what do you? What are the? Do you have anything new that you're excited about sharing? Absolutely. 
I'll bring you over here real okay. quick. We've been building for a while, but we've finally gotten our production to a point where we can actually start wholesaling. Oh, great. This is handmade in Hilo, Hawaii. Oh, wow. This is monkey pod wood. That's a concert size. This, solid koa tenor, made in Hilo. It's beautiful. This one is curly mango. That's gorgeous. All sustainably sourced wood off the island. We use a hand rubbed oil finish, which is environmentally friendly. And uh, so it's all made by us in the islands. That's great. And we're really excited about being able to offer this to a wider audience. And for people that have never heard of your company, how can they get a hold of you? Big part? For people that have never heard of your company, how can they reach you? Uh, they can reach us uh, online. Uh, if for retail purchases, it's hawaiian-ukulele.com. Okay. Uh, Hawaiian ukulele guitar. And uh, for wholesale inquiries, it's hug ukulele. Okay. And the last question, what is the unique hug take that it brings to ukuleles in your price range? Uh, I'm a trained music educator who has a real distaste for what is known as student level instruments. Yeah. I think they're terrible. Uh, so when we started the company, it was about bringing higher quality at a more affordable price. Yeah, that's great. Okay? So many of the less expensive instruments sometimes are virtually impossible to play. Yeah, yeah. And as a luthier, a performer, and a music educator, my whole goal is to create a high quality instrument within the reach of everybody. That's fantastic. Thank you so much. You're welcome. This is Jorge from Bamboo uh, Hi, Jorge. Um, the first question I have for you is what, what ukulele do you have? What model is your best seller or is like a signature that you're looking okay. for? We are now selling in Latin America, Mexico, and now we are beginning in States. Uh -huh. And uh, our, I think that the, the, the winner right now is this. We are selling a bunch of, uh, because this, this design, it's meaning many things for many countries. Uh -huh. uh, so the people like this very much. We, we, we said that this is one of the biggest bestsellers. Oh, that's great. That is beautiful. It really is. It really yeah. is. And, uh, okay. And my second question is, do you have any new products that you'd like to share? That uh, like a new line or a new, a new ukulele or something that you just came out with. Um, I will say that yes and no because we have a, uh, a series that follows new generation, all the designs that you can see there. We are refreshing. We are refreshing these uh, designs uh -huh. all the time, and we are uh, we are uh, offering uh, new models in different shapes and we are changing the concepts behind each youth. So new generation will be our our best series and uh, always with new with new models. So no specifically a new a new bunch of models but the new generation is our biggest uh, part of the continuously model. improving. Yeah. Sorry? Continuously improving. Continuous improvement. That's really exactly. neat. And my third question is, what does uh, what what is unique about bamboo? Okay, why why do we call bamboo? Because bamboo, it's uh, uh, you know what is the bamboo? Yeah, and yeah. Bamboo, it's uh, it takes a long time to grow. The one grow grow big, uh -huh. strong, and it's unbreakable. So. Yeah. It's what bamboo idea and concept means. And what what is different is because behind all any uh, every youth 
we have a concept that fit with different people. We are doing this with the idea that share with the people uh, a concept to planet care, to the environment care, and also um, make a connection with people that are not musicians to make a better world through the music with the youth. That's really neat. Thank so you so much. That's the concept. Thank you so much. So thank you so much. All right, uh, okay, I'm here with Sarah at the Amahi booth. And uh, Sarah, what I'd like to ask first is, what is Amahi's most best-selling or, or like signature model? Okay, so our signature model is our DDUK9. This is our Amahi brand Ocean Wave ukulele. It's got our ocean on it. Uh, it's got our logo on it. It's very fun. Okay, great, thanks. And what does the one you have that's coming out that you're, or, or, or that's been out a little bit that you're particularly excited about? Something that's the newer? Or... She's got it. I can just zoom in on it. But you can just hold it there. So we just added these new gloss ukuleles, which also have sparkles. So this is our Sparkle Rainbow DDUK. 23, 25? Yeah. I think it's 20, 23. Oh, okay. We, these are brand new models, so. Yeah, yeah. That's we really We just neat. started adding gloss. Cool. And what does a, a, a Mahi bring to, what, what's the unique Amahi characteristic that it brings to the community that's different than other competitors in your price range? Yeah. So we normally only do business with brick and mortar institutions. So because of that, it makes us a little bit, we don't sell direct to consumer, basically. Right. So we, we have to think outside the box in ways to uh, coordinate with dealers and small businesses around the country and around the world to help introduce our products in a way that's fun, engaging, warm, welcoming, and yeah, creative. That's really neat. Yeah, after I spoke with you yesterday, I looked up a Mahi dealers in my area. There's one about 12 miles from me. So, That's good. So you're okay. doing a good job. Awesome. Well, we're going to pick up some pace here, I think, in the next couple of years and see where it takes us. That's really great. Yeah. Thank you so much for your time. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for stopping by. Okay, I'm here with Mike. Is Mike Upton? Mike Upton. Mike Upton, and you're the founder of Caller, right? Yeah, I started Caller in 2005. Yeah. Great, and I'm going to ask the same three questions I've been asking everyone else. Mike, uh, what is an ukulele that Caller has that is like a bestseller? With yours, have so many. One of the bestsellers, yeah. I should say, and that when people think Caller, they think of that instrument. Well, hey, I happen to have it right here. It's a Caller <laughs> Travel fin body, archback. Um, you know, it's got a lot of sound for yeah. a real skinny ukulele, and um, I guess, you know, we could be known for that, among other things. That's really great. And then, what does Kala have that, uh, like, some new product that, or that you're excited about? Well, if you just pan over to that wall, you'll see the Surf Series, which has been out for a few years, but the candy shop Ukes are brand new. The sparkle use. Yeah, those are getting real popular these days, aren't they? Yeah, I mean, it's a lot of fun stuff. And now we're there. there they are. Six colors. Um, yeah, well, that's and neat. And then the new uh, Sonology stuff. Oh, those are so cute. Yeah, the fruits and the bugs. Uh, the bugs and the bugs. That's really neat. Um, okay, and my third. So Go on. Okay. Go ahead and stand here so I can get your ukuleles in the picture. And then the third question is, what is what is the unique call of quality that it brings to its instruments and the company? That's uh, that's the unique take or, or quality that you know that it brings as opposed to other instruments in the same price range. I think we've got a huge variety of different types of instruments um, for kind of everybody's need or personality or. 
you know, um, I mean, these are, you know, fun ukuleles, yeah. which, but we have, you know, serious, right. just, it, it's about the sound ukulele, you know, but we try to uh, accommodate almost every type of player. So I think that variety really is what we're known for. And so we have to keep developing new product, coming out with new things. Yeah. But, you know, that's the exciting part. That's really neat. Thank you so much, Mike. I must say, one of my favorite colors I've ever played, uh, about four years ago, my wife and I were going to Crescent City. We stopped by Kala unannounced, and your employees were so gracious, they let us in there. We looked at the showroom, and then I was talking with uh, one of the gentlemen there, and I said, I was hoping to see some elites, and he goes, oh, you got to come to this room. And we went into the room that had the elites, and he had this one elite that I've never forgotten, because it looked like a butcher block. The, uh, oh, the top, the sides, the back. The parquetry. We in, took uh, it, all kinds of pe yeah. different pieces of koa and just uh, layered them yeah, side by it, side and crisscrossed. Yeah. It sounded so nice. It I think played we have so nice. One of those left that we yeah, that was holding wonderful. onto because, yeah, that was you know, a certain season of building things. That took a lot of work to, to do that, you know. Yeah. But beautiful. Well, that's what I liked it's about really, it. You know, know, being I'm on a lifelong woodwork return to Luthery. And when I saw that, it's like, oh my God, the work that goes into putting that together is amazing. Yeah, you know, it's a fun, yeah. it's a great craft, you know, being a luthier. You know, yeah, I'm not yeah. myself, but you know, I envy those guys that can do that yeah. beautiful work. So. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Mike. Yeah, you bet. You have a great day. Okay, I'm here with Katie from Ch Chesbro, mm -hmm. Chesbro uh, Marketing. Chesbro Music. Chesbro, Chesbro Music. And Chesbro Music owns both Teton ukuleles and Eddie Finn ukuleles. And so I'll ask the same three questions. Uh, first off, is there a signature Teton model and Eddie Finn model that when people hear those brands, that's what they think of? Absolutely. Um, in the Teton, first of all, we are really proud of using all natural woods and making sure that you can still see that finish. Um, oh yeah, it's beautiful. We love our spalted maple. This is the one I sell absolutely the most of because it's bright and it's beautiful. And I love how, I love how every wood pattern is different. And I love that the spalted maple actually comes from a diseased wood and we make it into something absolutely beautiful. That's my favorite thing. Um, all of our nicer models have solid tops, so you get a really nice sound out of them and they're really good quality. So I love this one of the Teton. And what is that top? For? Is this one is a solid spruce. Spruce. Okay. Yep. So we usually do a solid spruce top and then a laminate back and sides, but they're just pretty and natural and clean. Good sound. Great. And what about Eddie Finn? Um, in the Eddie Finn, the one I love right now, can I move this sure. way? Okay. The Eddie Finn one that I love right now is this one, and I know it's wow. left hand, not inclusive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a color changing model, so it changes color in the light. Oh yeah. So you know, it depends on your mood. Maybe you want copper, maybe you want purple, maybe you want a little both. Um, but I love that one. And these are all laminate mahogany. Yeah. So they're, they're oh, a good little neat. model yeah. with yeah. a good, and they've got, you know, this little signature fin. Yeah, it's cute. It's, it's cute, cute, right? So you know it's an Eddie Finn if you see this. Yeah, that's so, really neat. That's where we are there. That's my favorite one there. Yeah. And then what does... Uh, what, let's go this way, yeah. Get quieter. away from the guitar. What are the unique qualities that Eddie Finn and Teton uh, bring to the ukulele you know, market and community okay. uh, that, that, you know, that is specific to them in their price range? Okay. Um, for the Eddie Finn, we try to keep it affordable but fun. That's our fun line where we're going to play with things and play with finishes and shapes and colors. So you're always going to see something new and fun from Eddie Finn. Something different. As far as Teton goes, we want people to have... We want people to be able to afford a really good, solid ukulele and still be able to afford it and not mortgage your house or your left arm or your firstborn child. Yeah. We yeah. want you to keep, we try and keep our price points really low. We work with a great factory in China that makes it so we can keep these affordable for you. That's great. And, and they're real, they're beautiful yeah. instruments. That's what Teton is known for is we are a high end instrument at a blue collar price. That's great. So, Thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay, hello again everybody. I'm here with Philip from Kasha uh, uh, Ukulele. Well, there's more ukulele, but I'm, I'm talking about the ukuleles. 
and this is Philip. And so, Philip, what is your signature model, uh, your best-selling or signature model of ukulele? Welcome to our Kasha booth. My name is Philip. Like like you said, so our best-selling model is the Mahogany series, like like this one. This is very very asked of the customers, and we sell many many thousands every year. So we have them available in soprano, concert, and tenor size, uh, even as a uh, guitar lele and uh, since this weekend as a baritone. Oh, so wow. yeah, this is our best seller model. That's great, thank you, Philip. And what do you have that's new that you're particularly excited about? Yeah. The new line of Kasha is the bamboo line. So we have them available in standard bamboo and even in colored bamboo. And also we have some of the art series. So we started a cooperation with one of the most yeah, famous designer in Germany and we created some great new designs for ukulele and we printed on mahogany and on screws and yeah these are the models um, different bonds and different colors different uh, kind of wood so they are available from now on. That's really neat and what is what is the unique quality that Kasha brings to the ukulele marketplace? So yeah Kasha like you see we don't have that big range but we have all the ukuleles the customer needs so we have the best sellers so yeah for, for soprano for, for beginners we have for professionals we have the mid-range we have everything not that big range but all the important uh, ukuleles what you need here that's really neat thank you so much okay we're here with ian from close guitars and ian with your ukuleles what is your signature instrument yeah so our signature model is this uh whole carbon fiber ukulele and you, you can see carbon fiber neck carbon fiber body uh one piece and so it's really durable it's really reliable and you can take it anywhere and not have to worry about it you don't have to hide it in the case uh, just keep it out at all times and uh yeah, we're really proud of it. Um, our customers are super happy. The nice thing about this ukulele is that there's no heel right here at the neck. So That's really you have a little bit higher access to the frets. Your thumb slides very nicely. Um, and, and, and you mentioned so, yeah. that's now full carbon fiber. You used to have a maple neck, right? Yeah, so we do some other models that we call them hybrid, where the, the neck is wood. And so this is actually another um, really good model. That would be my... So, so for your second... The second question is this would be for the second question. That what, what new product do you have that's uh, yeah, you're excited about? The stuff that's new is uh, this eight string ukulele. It is uh, one of the hybrid models, so it's got a wooden neck, has carbon fiber stiffening rods throughout the whole neck, um, and it sounds like a harp. It's really fun to play, and uh, That's really yeah, cool. if you know how to play ukulele, then this is quite a treat to play. Yeah. Um, a couple other really new things. I myself have been really busy with uh, electric guitar design and the bass design. And so that's what we've got right here. Oh wow. Uh, we've got the bass neck right here. It's really long and uh, making it out of carbon fiber is just like absolutely a game changer when it comes to reliability. Um, so we make electric guitars as well. A couple different colors and uh, the pick guard is carbon fiber as well. So oh, wow. people can customize their pick guard with whatever pickups they want whatever knob configuration they have two knobs or five knobs and two switches uh, everything underneath the pickguard is hollow so it's really easy to make those customizations um, the last thing that is really exciting that's new is this material right here we call it carbon timber that looks great and it's real carbon fiber it's got nickel it's nickel plated with a very very technical procedure to do that and it makes the carbon fiber look like wood uh, which we're really excited about so that nickel compound so yeah that's the new that stuff. has a little bit of it should have a little input of tonal quality too shouldn't it yeah it's got a little bit of a tone change it makes it a little bit warmer and we love that that's really great and what is unique about close guitars that they bring to the industry that other other you know people in your price range don't yeah our our main mission is we want to help musicians never leave their guitar or ukulele behind and the worst is when you want to go on a weekend trip or you want to go do a barbecue go to the beach go camping and you're debating whether you want to take your guitar or not 
and we want to eliminate that dilemma. And so when you have a guitar or ukulele that is reliable, that you can trust, it's durable, uh, you don't have to have that dilemma anymore. You can take it with you and you can have peace of mind that it's reliable, it's not going to get damaged, and you can have fun with it. Yeah, and I, I've seen the videos on your website. What, what, these, what these ukuleles can go through is just incredible. Yeah, it's pretty <laughs> awesome, and it, it's a total game changer when you're a musician. Yeah, that's great. Thank you so much, Ian. You got it. Thank you. Well, if you made it this far, thanks for watching the video. My next video, I'll be getting back to project videos. So stay tuned. I have a whole bunch of amazing projects coming up. Thanks a lot. Stay safe, stay healthy. I'll see you in the next video.